Hi guys, my name is Kamlesh and today I'm going to show you how you can set up the bonding in Red 7. So there are multiple ways where you can set up the red bonding in Red Hat 7 is one is uh, an MTUI uh, that is the text TUI console. The one which I'll be going to show is our the command mode. So for setting up the bonding, let's take a look at the interfaces detail. So I have the ETH, I have the interfaces ENP. They are 8, 9, 10, and I'll be using these interfaces to uh, create the bonding. So, uh, to create the bonding over the command mode, the tool, the command line utility, what has come up in the new that is NMCLI. So, in to create the bonding, here is NMCLI connection at so type so bond. So at any moment if you have any doubt you can run the help command with the edge and it will give a pretty good example how you can set up the bonding. So you can follow this syntax structure to create the uh, bonding. So let's start with an MCLI connection at type. I'm going to type it with the bond and interface name will be the my bond zero. Sorry, it's a connection name it's a my bond zero and interface name is my bond and the mode what I'll be going to choose is the active backup so mode is active backup and IP4 I'll be going to send as 10.0.0.31 slash 8 so this is this command is going to create a my bond connection name and that the interface name will be my bond zero let's see how it works Okay, so it has created a my bond zero connection and let's run the NMCLI FMD and C. So it's my bond zero is created and set up. So to add the slave interfaces to do this uh, my bond zero, we have the similar same uh, command syntax as NMCLI connection add type. So in the type now what we are going to use is here is the bond slave. So earlier we are used the use the type as a pattern as bond. You can set up the different type of interfaces with the type like VLAN, bond, or team or bridge. So we are making the slave interfaces so NMCLI connection and type. So here it will be the bond slave. And the interface name the interface what I'm going to choose here is INP0 as 8 and the master interface name is what we have created earlier with the with our master interface is my bond 0 so I'm going to use my bond 0 so this has added the ENP0 as 8 to as a slave interface to my bond 0 let's take the second interface as ENP0 as 9 and and it to my bond zero. Okay, let's take a look at the NMCLI D. So now this is there. Okay, now we have to make these interfaces up, and there are certain rules in rails and bonding. Like if you are making the master slave up first, you need to bring up the slave also up, and if you are bringing up the slave interface first up, then it brings up the master also up. So to make this connection up, so NMCLI connection up, it will bond slave ENP0S8. Okay, so this is created ENP0S slave S8. So these are the files which are created in the UM. You will be surprised how did I use this ENP slayers so these are the slave interfaces configured in the file which the nmcli command script so let's go to etc system sysconfig network scripts as you can see here is in p0 slab slave 8 and 9 are created so we have made the in p0 s8 up now let's make the in p0 s9 also up okay so this is up and let's make the and I'm seeing like connection up my bond, my bond zero. So this brings up the brings up the bond interface my uh, my bond zero up and let's take a look at the my IP, IP ADDR show. 
and you can see the my bond connection status is up and it has IP address 10.0.0.31 let's open up a new session and with this new IP address is 10.0.0.31 let's log in okay so we have the other interface is 10.0.0.21 let's try to bring we will be testing the switch over so I'm going to put here is the, the second IP address 10.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.